In just a few minutes, I'll show you how to use Nana Banana to create architecture concepts from scratch, edit them with scribbles or text, turn them into storyboards, generate B-roll, and even reimagine entire spaces. At the end, I'll show you how to create a 3D model from a simple Google Street View in less than a minute. I will do all of this in the new Love Art Canvas, powered by Nano Banana, and I'll leave all prompts in the description below. To get started, head over to loveart.ai and log in. Then, let's create a new project. You can upload a floor plan, a sketch, or even just draw freehand. I'll be working directly on the canvas. It's where all the editing, generation, and layering happens. Let's start by uploading a sketch of a modern villa directly on the canvas. Now select the sketch and enter a prompt like white sculpture villa in a pine forest, sunny morning, and let Nana Banana do its thing. Personally, I've noticed I often get better results when I keep prompts smaller and more direct instead of overloading them with too many details. Nano Banana seems to interpret concise instructions really well. And within seconds, I had this stunning concept render. It's minimal, beautiful, and ready to edit. Now, let's say I want to replace the white facade with wood and add birds in the sky. All I had to do is select the areas I want to change and type, add birds in the sky. Hit enter, done. It feels like magic, but it's just Nano Banana working on Love Arts Canvas. Next, I used that same building design and asked LoveArt to generate a storyboard with keyframes. Using Nano Banana, I described each scene, then clicked Generate Video, and the results a full architectural walkthrough sequence, all from one sketch. I uploaded a photo of a living room and told Nano Banana, redesign this in light wood mid-century modern style, abstract artwork, white rug. It instantly reimagined the space, keeping the architecture, but swiping the entire aesthetic. This edit took under a minute, and I could keep iterating. Now let's try something a bit more practical, compositing two images. In this case, I have a house rendering and a separate image of a car. I upload both into the project. First, I place the house as the background. Then I drag the car image onto the canvas. From here, I can use selection tools to remove the background around the car. Love Art does a solid job cleaning that up. Once the card is placed, I'll match the lighting and perspective using a quick prompt like Adjust lighting and shadows so the card fits the scene. Bright daylight, same direction as the house shadows. Once the card is placed and lighting looks consistent, I'll run a final prompt to blend everything into one cohesive image. Something like Merge the car and house into one unified scene. Nana Banana process that and outputs a single clean render. For this one, I started by uploading a Google Street View photo from my computer. This shot is from the famous Nothing House building in Prague. And for this test, I kept it simple. Here's the prompt I used. Use the provided architectural photo as reference. Generate a high-fidelity 3D building model in the look of a 3D printed architecture model. You can copy this prompt directly from the description. It took only about 30 seconds to generate, and the results look pretty solid, nice details, and it really feels like one of those miniature architectural models. Now, Street View only shows the front, so Nano Banana filled in the blanks based on what it had. That's expected, since it can't invent angles it hasn't seen. You can always upload a top view from Google for a more precise result. Once I had this render, I just opened the chat box, dragged the image in, and used the simplest prompt, create a 3D file from this image. LoveArt, using the 3D model generator, gave me a ready-to-download 3D model in less than two minutes all without leaving love heart. 
Love art is more than image generation. You can draw, edit, animate, storyboard, and even create 3D looking visuals, all on one infinite canvas. Unlike other tools, it feels playful, creative, and powerful all at once. Plus, no app switching, everything stays in your flow. I've been experimenting with Nano Banana inside Loveheart for a few days now, and honestly, what stands out is how easy it is to test architectural ideas fast. From rough floor plans to quick composites or material changes, it's a solid tool for early design exploration. If you are working visually and like to sketch out concepts quickly, this fits into the workflow naturally. If this video helped you, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.